Here we are, WrestleMania weekend, and it is going to be one hell of a weekend. Two nights, 14 matches, there should be 16 on this card, but for some dumb reason there isn't, uh, but we'll talk about that you know, another time, or rather we'll talk about that right now. Uh, but yeah, we got 14 matches on this card. The build for WrestleMania, the lead up has not been very good. Been very, very tragic, you know, to see some of these storylines. You know, it's mostly, you know, there, there's a lot of things that's been going on wrong in the wrestling community lately. You know, it just some bizarre things have been going on. So the fact, <laughs> the fact that we haven't updated, you know, this channel about you know wrestle wrestling content in the past two months or so shows us a lot of things. It shows us a lot of things. So, what happened? What, what has happened in the past two months? Well, Bianca Belair won the Royal Rumble in the women's division and she will be taking on Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now people have been, you know, clamoring for this to be a main event. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if it has been confirmed yet. But, I mean, it's either this one or the next one that I'll be talking about. And what a horrid way to build this feud up. I mean, it, 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 it's the typical WWE type thing where, you know, we'll have a tag team match and cause dissension. Which just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And, and I'll talk about the tag, and I'll talk about the women's tag team championships in a moment because there's some questionable things there as well. Um... But this build-up for this feud has just not been great, and that's really what I've been taking away from it, is how horrid this has been. I mean, Bianca Belair has never won a WWE title. Never won one. She hasn't. So, you know, this could be, you know, this could be huge for her, and the fact that it hasn't been great, you know, just, it's been kind of rough. I don't get it. So next up, next up, Bobby Lashley with MVP, you know, taking on Drew McIntyre, and what this one, what this matchup right here is telling me is trying to get Drew McIntyre back into the spotlight, you know, with fans. Remember, this WrestleMania is coming back with fans for the first time in a year, so going to be interesting there. Going to be very interesting. Uh, but the fact that WWE decided to try and break up the Hurt Business, which is the stable that MVP and Bobby Lashley are in, the fact that Vince tried to break up everything, you know, once again, just just was just not good. I mean, I am so glad that it took forever. It has taken far too long for Bobby Lashley to become a WWE champion. Uh, WWE champion, BD The Miz, remember, uh, a couple weeks back on Raw who wanted for McIntyre, you know, so, and I mean, th this build-up has just been squandered, you know, because of the Hurt Business trying to be broken up, and plus, I mean, I don't know, I don't know about y'all, but I mean, Drew McIntyre pretty much had a whole year with WWE Championship, he pretty much had the entire year with it, so, you'd think somebody else would step up, but no, but I guess this is what Vince wants. This is what Vince wants. He wants Drew McIntyre to, you know, get up in there, get back to spotlight, get another W, you know, a big time thing for him and everything like that. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't with this decision. Bad Bunny, Damian Priest taking on The Miz and John Morrison. This feud came up out of nowhere. This was when Bad Bunny was the 24-7 champion, which he was for a little bit, and it just, I mean, I get it, I don't, even, I don't even know who Bad Bunny is, that's how bad it's been, like, people were like, who is this man, who are you, where have you come from, what is your hit single, my man, so, you know, we, we, I came from this, and this was just like, man, this is kind of dumb, like where where is where is a match that actually has some substance, you know? Here, speaking of matches with no substance, the New Day is taking on AJ Styles and Owens for the Raw Tag Team Championship. This has no substance. This has nothing. Again, WWE has fumbled the bag 
with the tag team division. They have been for a while now. You know, and the fact that we have the Raw Tag Team Championships being defended, and not the SmackDown champion, Tag Team Championships being defended on this pay-per-view as well, because they're being defended tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, along with the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, that doesn't make any sense either. Um, I don't get it. I don't get this one. I don't get this match. It doesn't make any sense. This matchup, this next matchup as well, Braun Strowman, Shay McMahon, Shane McMahon is old as hell. I, I get it. I get it. No way, I don't get it. I don't get this matchup at all. I really don't. First there was slime, and then there was all sorts of weirdness going on. You know, Shane calling Braun stupid. Shane, you know, Shane McMahon just sweating all over the place, looking like he's got COVID. You know, running all over the place, out of breath. You know, and this feud has also been just horrid to even talk about. I mean, it, it, this match just has no purpose whatsoever. Now, the matchup that could steal the show on night one is Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. Oh boy, this matchup is going to be one hell of a matchup. Two great athletes, just one one damn good one damn good pair, honestly. Yeah, I mean this this is the time this is the type of matchup that should be, you know, for championships and stuff like that. But I get it. You know, Seth Rollins has to be in the spotlight, you know, as a beta medic for a little while. But I mean, damn. Damn. Why 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 are these two stuck in the mid guard? Why are these two stuck like this, man? This doesn't make any sense. And the build up for this one has been actually pretty interesting. I haven't really been keeping up with it, but it's been interesting as hell. And then last but not least on night one, which will lead into night two, is a tag team turmoil match in which the winner of this match will receive a WWE Women's Championship or er, Tag Team Championship matchup on the second night. So we got Lana and Naomi, who were supposed to have, you know, a tag team title shot opportunity, but remember, WWE fumbles the bag with tag teams a lot, so. They've had Oscar and Charlotte. They've had they've had Sasha Banks, and Bianca Belair team up to take on the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. And I just don't get it. I just don't get it. You know, we've had teams like you know the Riot Squad is right there. They're in this matchup, along with Natalya and Tamina, who have who are basically both of those both those two women are basically irrelevant in the WWE grand scheme of things. And also, Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose. Like, what the hell happened to the women's division? What the hell's going on out here? What is going on? This doesn't make any sense. I cannot believe this matchup has been lit. Where in the world? What in the world is this matchup? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't like it. So that's 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 the summary of that, you know. So, again, the tag team turmoil winners will take on... You know, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler in night number two. Speaking of night number two, let's go from the bottom all the way up here. We got the United States champion, Matt Riddle, or rather just Riddle, because why not? Take on Sheamus in a singles matchup, again, for the United States championship. Um... I don't really know about this one. This one also had some, just some bizarre buildup. I mean, it just didn't really click with me, and I just didn't really like it too much. So I was just like, okay, this is a thing. Because remember, Sheamus had a few with Drew McIntyre, which was absolutely fun. That was really fun, you know. But I mean, this this matchup just comes out of nowhere. Another matchup that could steal the show. You know, Sami Zayn's been basically a conspiracy theorist for, you know, a while now. And another matchup with Kevin Owens. Yeah, this one, you know, I mean, they've had some legendary feuds in the past. And this is going to be another barn burner. But, 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 but. You know who's with them? Logan Paul. Yes, Logan Paul is with Sami Zayn for this singles matchup. Again, it just doesn't it just doesn't fit with me. I don't, I don't know why. You know, Logan Paul's here, but I get it. WWE wants some celebrity involvement. I don't really like it because there's another thing that we got to talk about in a minute, though. But we'll talk about it after you know we get over these matches. And then 
a bizarre type of matchup. I don't know what a Nigerian drum fight is, but Big E and Apollo Crews, they're gonna do they're gonna duke it out for the Intercontinental Championship. They've been feuding for months now. And this one this one could be another great matchup. Really liking, you know, what Big E's been doing at the break lately. Really liking, you know, his reign as their continental champion, even though he's been feuding with only Apollo Crews for, you know, the duration of his title reign pretty much. Another matchup that has been, you know, somehow, I mean, this this feud has been going on forever now, forever. The Fiend with Alexa Bliss versus Randy Orton. The Fiend came back at fast lane, you know, his face was all burned, you know, and stuff like that. Because remember, Randy Orton put Bray Wyatt on fire. He put him on fire. He was literally, you know, gone. And now he's back. So this matchup just gets... You know, more drinking. I'm hoping this will end this feud because this this has not been the greatest feud ever. You know, I mean, it's it, it's been it's been weird. It's been some mind game type stuff. You know, and it's been going on for who knows how long now. I think it's been like six months. So it's been going on for a while. Uh, a matchup that came up out of nowhere, obviously, you know, just to give Asuka somebody to fight, which is her taking on Rhea Ripley, who has moved up from NXT, coming on up to challenge her for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, again, Asuka has been booked horribly as champion. I'm talking, this has been one of the worst booked champions I've seen in my entire life. This rival is, you know, like the Miz, you know, back when he was WWE champion. It just hasn't been a good time for Asuka. It just hasn't been a good time, you know. I, don't, I mean, when was the last time she meaningfully defended a title? I'm not talking like, you know, a throwaway matchup or something like that. I'm talking about a meaningful feud that means something. Hasn't it, it, There hasn't been one of those. There hasn't been one of those in a while. And it's a damn shame. But we do get a great matchup. For the Raw Women's Championship on night number two. I'm, I'm excited for it, honestly. I am very excited for this matchup. It could be a barn burner as well. And last, but certainly not least, the final matchup on the card. This one will made I believe it will made a bit. Yeah, it will made a bit. Oh, I don't know why I'm saying it will, I believe it will made a bit. It is going to made a event. Night number two. Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman, of course, versus Edge. The Royal Rumble winner versus Daniel Bryan. Yeah, a triple threat for the WWE Universal Championship. What a year it has been for Roman Reigns. What a return it has been for Edge. And what a comeback story, you know, potentially leading into his retirement that Daniel Bryan has become. This is a matchup with some thrilling, thrilling storylines. And you got... You got, I mean, you got heel Roman Reigns who has been killing it the past few months. Been killing it. You got Edge who's come back. He had a great feud with Randy Orton. That was just damn good. And then he's come back again and just absolutely demolished. You know, he somehow, somehow, he won the Royal Rumble. Somehow. Old man Edge won the Royal Rumble. And I'm not even, I'm not even mad about that. I'm not even mad about that one. And, and Daniel Bryan, you know, he's been feuding with Roman Reigns for a couple for a couple months now, and you know, could it be one more chance to hold up a major title for Daniel? Could it be? I don't know. I really don't know. It's again, this triple threat match just has all the intrigue. It's been the best storyline WWE has had for a while now. Again, Roman Reigns has been the best thing about WWE. For a while now, and the fact that this match is going to be an event night number two, just going to be—it's going to be one hell of a thing. It's going to be one hell of a matchup. So, we also have some other things to go over as well, which is Titus O'Neil and freaking Hulk Hogan. Yes, Hulk Hogan hosting WrestleMania 37. Why? I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't get it. I don't get it. Whatever. Whatever. But there's also some other things, you know, as well that are going to happen, you know, during WrestleMania week. And some of them have already happened. Um, NXT, moving to Tuesdays. They already had Stand and uh, Deliver on the 7th and the 8th. Respectfully, that was one great event last night. I did watch it because, I mean, again, I just... 
I, I've never really never really been interested in NXT. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I haven't been interested. I mean, they could have some damn good wrestlers, but they it's the product's been diluted down so bad. You know, it's been kind of rough. So again, you know, that SmackDown episode that we're talking about that will be airing tonight has the Andre the Giant, you know, Memorial Battle Royal. And I, I, I don't like you know, I don't I don't like the battle royal anyway. It doesn't make any sense. I don't like it. It's just another battle royal. That mean that means absolutely nothing, you know. Aside from getting a big ass trophy, and also the SmackDown ta- Tag Team Championships are being defended. You know, Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, they're doing a fatal four way with that. Um, so meh type thing there. Uh, Hall of Fame was last night as well. Yeah, or rather, it was all the fifth. I mean, there, there was also a special episode of NXT UK again. Eh, meh. That was on the eighth as well. Um, this was also the um the the Broken Skull session podcast with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Gonna have Chris Jericho on it. So eh, I mean, I'm not really interested in that. I don't really, I don't really care for podcasts, you know, too much. So meh on that. I'm just excited for these two nights wrestling that we're going to have, you know. And I mean, I mean, it, I mean again, I, I don't want to watch NXT because WWE treats NXT so badly, you know. It feel it feels it still feels like it's a developmental brand instead of a third brand. It just doesn't feel like a third brand. So that's why I just don't, I just don't care for it. Um. Also, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been keeping up. I haven't been actually watching, you know, Raw and SmackDown. Keep in mind, I'm basing this, you know, off of some things that I already know, some things I don't know, and you know, I've, I've been keeping up. I've been keeping up because you know, got to keep it up with it on Twitter. Thankfully, because I mean, I'm not gonna watch three hours of Raw. I'm not gonna watch two hours of SmackDown. I'm not gonna watch five hours of Wrestling a week. So, um, yeah. So there we go, everybody. WrestleMania preview. Um, I don't really have too many predictions. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just expecting a bunch of great matches. I'm, honestly, I'm expecting a bunch of great matches. There's some really, really good hitters in this card as well. You know, I mean, we're talking some damn good ones that are going to hit hard during this card, so... It's going to be interesting to see how everything goes, and I will see you all, you know, again for wrestling content, you know, as far as that goes in August for SummerSlam. Yes, I know, August. I'm not going to do a recap. I didn't do one for the Royal Rumble, so I'm not going to do one for WrestleMania. So there you have it, everybody. See you in August.